Hello, this is a Foric 133 centimeters tall upright piano, brand new and just come into stock. Just assessing it to see if there's anything you might be able to do to refine it even further. It's an extremely refined piano and we'll have a look at it again in a second. I want to try and compare it with this uh, Steinway upright piano model K. Same kind of height, I think it's 131 centimeters tall. And this is fully restored. Now the Steinway has been one that we've fully restored ourselves. A huge amount of work. I think certainly over 200, possibly nearer 300 hours work on this piano. It's been French polished. Uh, let's take a look at that first. This is a, a traditional French polish finished off by, uh, with wax uh, and to make it give an antique wax look. So we've done it as well as we possibly can. Um, you can see the, the casework is a beautiful mahogany case and very, I think, very tasteful veneer on it. And uh, it's obviously pr pretty near perfect, if not perfect, throughout. So it's a traditional style piano, 1927. And we've had a new action fitted. We actually had Steinways come over to, to help us with that because it's quite complicated trying to fit a new action. Now the casework on the Foric is of course a modern typical black polyester finish. The, this is the chrome style one by the way, there's a chrome or brass. We do have a brass one coming in soon. Um, it wasn't quite prepared for us apparently so um, we had two one two twos, which are shorter pianos and, and this chrome one come in today. The top range Foric upright pianos is a 133, has this light fitted LED light. I don't think you'd better see much because it's very very light today anyway. And, got skylight shining down but you might be able to see it flickering a bit there um, that's very useful if it's obviously if you're in a room and uh, you want to be discreet with the lighting now what we're really concerned about is the uh, touch and the tone and um, this is uh, 50 grams weight it's just going down nicely it's probably slightly less than 50 49 I think if I took if I took the two off on here I think it doesn't go, quite go down so just yeah so it's it's 49 grams so i make it 48 48 to 50 grams very evenly weighted that that's as close as really you you would get on a new piano you don't normally get closer than that to there we are that's just about to go down with 50 grams encourage it a bit um, a tapping on the bottom so that's that's good and i think it's consistent all the way down it's slightly heavier in the base so it should be let's have a look down here so slightly heavier in the bass and slightly lighter in the top treble. Uh, this very, very refined piano, obviously. There we are, that's 48, I think. Slightly 47, possibly, so say 47 to 50. Now, this time is much lighter, which is ideal if you're an occasional player. This is 40 grams, so it's quite light. And a lot of folks do request uh, a lighter touch, so that's something we can certainly do. We can make this one heavier, too. But uh, I think the Steinway, as it's set up, is ideal for occasional players who don't really want to have to work incredibly hard. You don't play often enough, perhaps, or just want to enjoy the piano and play. It. Be very fluid with this kind of touch and not so much effort, really. So this is uh, all 40 grams I'm trying these out on. So they could even be slightly less than 40, some of them. That one is slightly less, I think. So 40 to 44 grams. Uh, so it's a light touch weight. Now Steinway has a Celeste or practice pedal. Very useful if you're playing lots of scales and you don't want to disturb people or maybe you've got problems with neighbours because they, you make too much noise through the wall. Then that, that certainly is, makes practice um, and you can play at the same strength and, and get a much quieter sound. It may be possible to fit a Celeste on the Steinway um, sometimes it's not not so easy to do. Um, we find that fitting it on it, it the, the stays get in the way. Uh, by the way, these are this is a brand new action. We'll look at this um, f first before we move on. Uh, this was originally what we call a H flange. It has a, a different type of flange where the damper and the hammer are on the same flange. Um, we have got a video showing that, uh, so I won't. Uh, can't show that now, I'm sorry about that. But uh, this is a brand new Renner action. I said Steinway earlier. Well, Steinway and Renner have merged now, but um, this was before they merged. Uh, this, uh, in fact, the project we took on here in March 
2018, so it's been a very long project. It's also stood for a while, obviously, while well, we had to ask Renner to come over because there were certain complications of fitting the action. And in fact, they put this sticker on, which uh, we need, they're very unusual, that dampers must be lifted off the strings prior to removing and refitting the action. Damage will occur if this is not followed. We haven't had this before, um, so it's a new experience for us. But the dampers, obviously, you lift them off. No problem, really. You could lift them off and then pull the action out. But that's uh, apparently important to follow. Otherwise, you could damage the action. So, But this is brand new Renner action, which is exactly the same as fitted in brand new Steinways. So it's benefiting from that. Let's listen to the tone. <laughs> Typical... I don't know how to describe the tone of this. Just... Um, full going right across the soundboard, beautiful soundboard. These are Renner hammers, obviously Renner Steinway hammers are um, the best, along with all the other very top makes, top hammers. Break point's reasonable. It's not perfect, but very good. And the bass is very lush. Let's compare that with the Forex. It's a stronger bass. Listen to those two notes and compare them. And the Steinway. There's a bit of voicing around that area. We've done some voicing already. Well, I've done obviously a lot of voicing. Just recently did a bit more. These are new hammers as, as well. I've uh, voiced them quite a bit today, it's just come in. Just to refine them a bit and still we'll be voicing them until the piano goes, I expect it. Just trying to discern between them. That one's probably a bit brighter. If you play the two together like that, and that one's a bit brighter too. So it's just mellowing them a bit. Obviously, if you mellow them uh, at the tips here, then you can bring it back with, with sandpaper if you find you've done it too much. So um, gentle mellowing here, and then perhaps a bit deeper here once you're convinced as to what kind of tone you want. So it's so a lot of work in, in fine voicing. So that's an assessment of Forick 133 upright piano that's just come in, and trying to compare it with a Steinway very, very different piano, but the same sort of height. And this Forex Best Upright Piano. A lot of musicians buy this piano. It just has an excellent touch for study and for, for general playing, really. Plenty of power and also plenty of subtlety. Just a little bit of voicing that we're doing onto it. It has German hammers, by the way, um, this top range for it. Um, let's have a listen to the Steinway to compare the tone. And this is the Steinway. This is a piano that's uh, been a huge number of hours fully restoring a new action in, which is um, a lot of work to do. I think for tone, this is an obviously appearance. Um, it's a piano that you choose, perhaps if you want an occasional piano, a piano to play occasionally. Beautiful, silky tone. Now the action is very light, so as I say, it's for occasional playing is ideal. But if you want a serious study, not so ideal. Now let's go back to the forec again. Yep. 
that's a very, very impressive bass. Uh, I think in terms of touch, uh, this is as good as you can get any piano. I've actually compared it with a modern Steinway, a new Steinway, and uh, honestly, it's uh, touch-wise is as superb as that. I'm not sure if it was long-lasting as a modern Steinway made in West Germany. Because basically the action is made in China, although part four it have a lot of control over that, um, visiting the factory and, and also the hammers themselves as well. They're, they're German hammers. They f are fitted in the, in the Chinese factory, but supplied from German uh, felt source. Sorry, the German source. Now, if you, if you would like to buy any piano from us, I've been mentioning this recently, and there's an increasing number of people who are buying without coming to see the piano. Well, also this is a new Forex, and I can say it's as good as any 133. We sell a lot of these to musicians, uh, their preferred choice. And if you want to buy without seeing, then obviously we are doing the best we can to make it as perfect as we possibly can. And if you do find you don't like the piano, then for, uh, for any reason you can return it to us. And obviously you have to pay uh, transport, but unless, unless there was a, something wrong with the piano, of course. The five-year guarantee on the piano. That's manufacturers and our guarantee. So I hope that's been helpful to compare this piano with the Steinway, which has been, I say, it's a labour of love. We've done a huge amount of work to that piano and com cosmetically very beautiful. Now, of course, we can repeat the for it. We can do another one. We've, we sell uh, many of these. I'm not sure about four or five a year compared to the 122, which is a smaller one. We sell a lot less, but we do sell to musicians particularly decide to choose this piano. And I think as a musician, I would also choose this piano. I've actually got a grand piano at home. I'm very fortunate to have space for it. Thank you very much for listening.